G'day folks, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're doing a video on the CASA KC300S, the latest smart camera from TP-Link or CASA. And we're going to have a quick look at how to set it up, but also my review or thoughts on this product and whether I think it's worth it. Now, it comes with a two at the end of it, and that's because this package came with two cameras. If you get the CASA KC300S3, it's because it's three cameras as well. Now there's some pretty cool specs on the CASA KC300. So we have 1080p crystal clear video and they call it sharp and clear full HD high quality video right at the palm of your hand. Wide angle field of view, so 130 degrees field of view which is pretty cool, means you get a nice wide shot, no problems getting a view of say your front door or your back veranda plenty of coverage. You can watch from anywhere which isn't out of the ordinary these days but it's still included on the CASA KC300S. And no wires. This is one of the big hurdles when it comes to cameras you know. Most houses only come with one or two outdoor plugs and that makes it a problem if you've got three or four cameras. Now I've currently got four cameras set up on the outside of my house but only one PowerPoint and now it's possible that I have four because of the KC300S. So they have this lithium rechargeable battery and so far my testing tells me that the battery life is really good and it doesn't take long to charge either. And they are now water resistant so you have IP65 water resistant rating which is enough for some rain. You're not going to put it underwater, you're not going to submerge it but it's going to be able to withstand the elements while attached to the outside of your house. And these are very flexible in terms of placement where you put them where you choose to put them and the angle you have them on is very simple and it also comes with a hub. Now this hub is connected to your internet and it is a large speaker and it gives off different sirens when you're not at home and the cameras get triggered. Now some of these sounds are a dog barking and it is really loud. I'll play some of these as we go. The sound of the TV on, just a normal high pitched siren noise as well and then also the sound of someone yelling out get out of my house, I've called the police, or, or something like that. But anyway, you'll hear that as we go. Get out of my house! The police are on the way! In the box, you get two cameras, the hub, two batteries, a Cat6 cable, some screws for the wall mounts, two metal plates to mount to the wall as well, two magnets to mount to your metal plates so you can attach your camera to the plates. I think that's it. I think that's everything. And as you can see, it's all laid out. Now to install these, if you haven't got a CASA account, set one up straight away, download the app, create an account, log in because you're gonna need that. Second one is if you already have that, you're gonna want a few different tools to be able to install these. Now for me, I just went the simple way. I used a battery powered drill with a Phillips head tip on it so I could screw the screws in, but I also used a drill bit to drill pilot holes into the ceiling where I was gonna be mounting the camera. You might not need to do that. You might use self tapping screws or where you're putting it might be nice and easy to drill into, but it was definitely better for me to drill the pilot holes. So I used a nice small drill bit. Then it was just a matter of deciding where I wanted to install it. I just gotta be honest here. Setting up the cameras was really easy. Setting up the hub, I did need to connect an ethernet cable to my router, which, you know, everything is wireless these days, so it would have been nice just to have that option as well for the hub. But once I did this, I connected the hub to my router with a Cat6 cable. Then I connected my cameras to the hub through the Wi-Fi, which is nice and simple. And I don't know why the hub has to be ethernet cable, uh, maybe TP Link, you can yell out to me and tell me why and I'll let everyone know, but that was the only sort of fiddly part of setting this up that I just didn't really understand. Now within the cameras, you also get improved activity zones. So you can have multiple activity zones to trigger when you want to be notified that someone is in that area within your yard or within your house. Now I have both of these set up outside because they're wireless and they're waterproof. It's the best place for me to put them. One on the patio, one on the front door. Now the front door is nice and simple shot. I just need to be notified when someone's walking in the front door, that's it. But the patio is a little bit wider, a little bit more coverage is needed. So I actually have two big activity zones. If someone's trying to sneak in the back area, 
then I'm gonna know about it. You can also choose to have notifications set up, so you can choose the custom time when you get notifications, or just have them on all the time, or have them off all the time, that's completely up to you. I choose to set them up when I leave. Now if I go out on a bit of a road trip for the day and I know that no one else is at home, notifications on, alarms on, everything's set to go. However, I might be going out for the day and uh, I know that people are going to be coming and going from the house, so I just want notifications. I just want to make sure people are arriving, coming and going as expected. So I'll just have the notifications on and I'll check each time I need to. It also comes with night vision and you can put your video from 1080p, 30 frames per second, down to 720p. And that's just a bit easier on the bandwidth and a little bit easier on the data that you might be downloading. Now there is also the option to sign up for Casa Care, which is where you can save all these clips to the cloud, 20 bucks for all your cameras, or six bucks for one, or 12 bucks if you want two. But if you have a setup like mine, where you've got more than three cameras, you're gonna to wanna to go for the $20 for the whole lot. And that way you can have six, seven, eight cameras set up, and it's not gonna cost you any extra. Now like with other Casa cameras, you can also set up the sensitivity of the trigger mechanism and also whether you want to record motion that lasts for longer than two seconds or one second or whatever time frame you give it. Now for this battery life I get about four percent per day out of the battery so that's going to last me a pretty long time but when it gets to 15 percent battery life left it actually goes into auto power saving mode much like a smartphone would which I think is pretty cool that might stretch you through an extra couple of days just so you can get back from your holiday or something like that without the cameras having to stop recording. And you can also choose to record video only, video and audio, or neither, depending on what's happening at your home and whether you actually want these cameras recording what's happening. Now with every camera or smartphone camera or any tech product, I always think there's a couple of areas for improvement. And I believe with these, this could come with some firmware updates over time, but one of them can't be fixed. And that is, if you can actually reach the camera, they're pretty easy just to pull off and you can walk away. Now, why would someone do that? I don't know, criminals do some pretty bizarre things. They might think if they rip the camera off that the footage isn't saved. We all know it is, but a criminal might not think that. The other one is the hub, it's a great idea, but I just don't know why it has to be connected via ethernet. Once it's set up, it's out of the way, you don't actually use it for anything else except the sirens. But I love that dog barking, scared the kids a few times with it already. And my other little, little complaint is that sometimes it takes a little while for the camera to come on when I choose to view it in live mode. Now when it picks up motion, it starts recording straight away and captures everything I needed to capture. However, when I go in through live mode, there's a bit of a delay and sometimes takes a little while to connect to that live image. So there's three things they could work on. However, as long as you have a internet connection anywhere in the world, you can access these cameras, you can access your home, you can see what's going on, you can trigger an alarm if you don't like what you see. So having these options available for your house is like a, almost like a type of insurance. So I do really recommend these TP-Link products. As I said, I've got a few set up around the house now, and these are the next step up. They're coming in at around a $400 price point, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but I don't think it's a bad price point for what you get. TP-Link offers a solid product, solid service, and continued support with all their devices. You're always getting firmware updates, so I think they're a pretty good camera, and one you should not be worried about picking up if you're looking for something that's wireless, easy to operate and offers a lot of function. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Check ya.